Hansen was destined to be a leader. The oldest of three children, he was a standout athlete at Moorhead High School. He was a tri-captain and quarterback of Moorhead's 1963 undefeated football team and also played baseball. The Bison offered Terry a football and baseball scholarship. Although he did not play baseball because it conflicted with spring football, he went on to become a record-setting quarterback for NDSU. As starting quarterback from 1965 to 67, Terry led the Bison to their first national football championship in 1965 and an impressive three-season record of 28-3. The week before the first game of the 1967 season, he experienced a serious knee injury, an injury that threatened his senior season. Under the care of NDSU trainer Dennis Izzy Isro, Terry was able to fulfill his collegiate career as tri-captain and guided his team to an undefeated regular season. That year, the Bison played in the Pecan Bowl and finished ranked number two in the nation. Terry earned his bachelor's degree in mathematics in 1968 and a master's degree in school administration in 1970. While pursuing his master's degree, he was a graduate coaching assistant, coaching the freshman backs and scouting for the varsity. Terry went to NDSU for teaching and coaching, but under the advice of coach Ron Earhart, he shifted his career path to the corporate world. In 1969, he joined Osco Drug as a management trainee, and for the next 20 years, he climbed the corporate ladder, moving up from district manager to various vice president positions and eventually president. He led more than 650 retail stores in 27 states with more than 27,000 employees. Terry's leadership helped Osco Drug become one of the top drug retailers in the world. In 1988, Osco Drug and Savon Drug became American drug stores. Terry retired from the company in 1989. But Terry wasn't done building successful teams just yet. In 1990, he developed the idea for a new retail venture, Ulta. He co-founded the company, which brought together salon services, cosmetics, and fine fragrances, all under one roof. Raising $11 million in venture capital, the first year they opened five stores and a distribution center in the Chicago area. During his time with Ulta, he was chairman, CEO, president, and director. He launched Ulta.com in 2001. After retiring from active management in 2002, he continued on the board of directors until 2008. Ulta now has 550 stores producing about $2.2 billion in annual sales and employs more than 15,000 people. But Terry still wasn't done. In 2003, he was recruited to serve as president of Pearl Vision until the business was sold in 2004. Being a top executive never stopped Terry from being a devoted husband and loving father. Terry is married to the love of his life, Susan, and together they have been blessed with four children, Kirsten, Kevin, Ryan, and Bo. Three daughters-in-law, Lisa, Janine, and Christina, and five, soon to be six, grandchildren. Now that Terry is officially retired, we are fortunate to have him serve as a trustee with the NDSU Development Foundation. Terry has been honored for his exceptional contributions to NDSU athletics by being inducted into the Bison Hall of Fame and the Bison Hall of Champions. Today, we honor him for his exceptional talent off the field. In acknowledgement of his remarkable career, Terry Hansen is deservedly recognized with the 2013 Alumni Achievement Award.